Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here am I on a different location, still giving God thanks, still giving God praise, still acknowledging the fact that God would have protected us during the night. So, before I go into the, the devotion this morning, I just want us to bow our heads as we have a word of prayer. Thank you, dear Father, for sparing our life. Thank you for your love and your goodness. Thank you for your mercies towards us. Take charge of this short morning devotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just This morning I want to look at a very familiar passage of Scripture, a very familiar text, in fact, a, 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 a psalm that we know so well. All of us know that particular psalm. And I'm just going to use Psalm 91.1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, because we know that God is in charge of all his people. And he's especially in charge of those that dwelleth in his secret place. Those that take time to spend in his presence. Those that keep their faith, their hope, and their trust in him. We often, often are afraid. This is a, a, a psalm that guarantees our protection. A psalm that tells us that once we put our faith, our hope, and our trust in God, he will protect us. You see, God always desires to have us protected. God always desires to have us uh, free of fear. I remember that God asks us to abide in the secret place. God, God asks us to spend time with him. God wants us on a daily basis to every morning be in his presence. So today, as we go forward, we have the assurance that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in his presence. And we should be grateful that God is present with us because when God is present with us, we have assurance. We need not fear. We just need to keep trusting in him and believing that he will do everything to protect us. So we go forward today with that assurance that we have our God, as you see, have our back and he will protect and guide us. We will look into that psalm on another occasion because there's a lot more layers to this particular psalm. But the assurance that we have is that he is going to be with us. He is going to be present with us and he's going to keep us safe. So once more, dear Father, we thank you that as we abide in your presence, you would be with us. Help us not to fear. Help us to keep trusting in you. And as we go out there today, as I'm about to do, we ask that you would carry us safely and give us the assurance that you are with us so that whatever situation comes up, we would know that you are there. In Jesus' name and thanks we pray. Amen.